Tomorrow marks the 50th anniversary of President Kennedy's assassination. And even now, half a century later, only 30% of the population believes the Warren Report's conclusion that Lee Harvey Oswald acted alone. I'm Robert Starr. I'm Papin, and this is Science Scene. Many proponents of a second gunman theory look to the Zabruder film and the strange movement of Kennedy's head in reaction to the gunshot. Back and to the left. The movement seems like it would be more consistent with a bullet coming from the front. Nobel Prize winning physicist Luis Alvarez and his deer hunter buddy, Sharon Buck Buckingham, showed that it wasn't. And yes, science fans, that's the same Rawr. Luis Alvarez who came up with the hypothesis that an asteroid impact killed the non-avian dinosaurs. Bullets have very little mass and therefore not much momentum. And if a bullet passes through something, it doesn't transfer very much momentum. However, bullets do have a lot of energy. In a headshot, some of that is transferred into pressure, which causes an explosion of brain matter out of the front of the skull. In order for momentum to be conserved, the rest of the skull has to move back toward the direction of the shot. Okay, so that works as a quest problem, but Alvarez and Buck took it upon themselves to show that this jet effect also works in real life. Actually, they use melons wrapped in tape to mimic the human skull. For more about the science behind the Kennedy assassination, check out today's science scene, part of the Life and Arts section of Your Daily Texan.